Good luck. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brutch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another Vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Yes? Back off. Hello. Here you are, Mr. Brutch. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. 
Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Yo, teach. I'm done. Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Allow me to savor the moment. Hey there. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You've surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser? Who would have thunk it? You're so full of it. That isn't true. They say the goat never lies. According to this, you're slated to be the next vault chaplain. God help us all. Yes, um, it's refreshing to see such, uh, youthful enthusiasm. Good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying. 